So, we continue onwards and outwards, continuing to build our empire, hoping that we'll be left alone long enough that we can get such an advantage that we can crush any that are foolish enough to cross us. And the time is coming, oh, the time is coming eventually that they will do something stupid. And when they do, I will respond. But until that time, I'm not going to worry about it. So what do we got here? They got people. That's what we got. What are the people doing? They are hopefully building cities. Unfortunately, I think that settler on the right there is going to be stuck there for a long time. As I said, I want to try to get a ship around to him. Alright, some free gold, that's always good. And looking at uh, what I'm pulling in gold-wise, I think I'm actually losing gold at the moment, so... We'll have to be pretty smart about things, that is for sure. Oh, Bardzo, you and your 15 production. Look at that, six turns to make an aqueduct. And he can even use a tax man or two. Probably shouldn't do two, but whatever. Taxmen make a difference uh, when you're in, you're in a monarchy. They can pull in that extra money you need to cover the expense of Colosseums and aqueducts. However, it's getting to the point where I'm going to have to change government soon, meaning I should probably start researching a new government. But knowing me, I won't, because I'm stubborn. Stubborn like the Polish, which would make sense since I'm partially Polish. That's right, stats guy. Me and you, brethren. Woo! What? I digress. And I used the word right for once. Hooray. Oh, why can't you just be nice, Tor 4G? Alright. Shakespeare's Theater. We can build that. That's pretty nice. Now this is great. Explosives allow engineers. Engineers have two movement points, and they're basically settlers on crack. They can build stuff twice as fast. It's amazing. However, we're going to go with seafaring for now, because one, that'll give us harbors, which will double the amount of food we can pull out of the ocean. Well, one, in every, one extra for every ocean square. And two, it'll also allow us to uh, research navigation, which allows Magellan's expedition, which I've talked about before, which makes clearing the uh, black off the uh, the black cover off of the uh, world map that much easier. Although I gotta admit, I've done a decent job this game of of exploring around my immediate area, except for that one chunk of black, of course. Well, two, whatever. Who's counting anyway, besides me? All right, me. And yeah, I'm putting double. Um, uh, double garrisons over on that side with the Greeks because they're militarist, mil, mil, uh, military expansionists. So I can't even say militaristic. That's terrible. And they uh, they will eventually do something stupid and start a war just because that's how they roll. They're just going to keep building until they run out of room, and then they're eventually going to attack one of my people or steal some technology because they are as dumb as the proverbial bricks. I love what it's like. My God, the Greeks have discovered like you know. They've got how to how to use both arms. Oh my god, they're scary scientifically. Not. Not at all. No, they they'll it'll it'll be something like that. Like some incredibly hilarious tech that I've had forever. And they'll be all proud of themselves. And I guess if you ever let a civ get way ahead of you, they'll actually send over representatives to taunt you. They'll be like, hey, um, we're going to demonstrate how to use gunpowder. No scribes will be allowed, which is their way, nice way of saying, don't steal our tech, a-hole. We all know that I wouldn't do that. I'm all about figuring things out for myself, or trading for it, or just conquering your ass. I'm not going to steal it. Well, as Although, honestly, my I want to conquer you is not exactly real high on my priority list, but whatever. Awkward duct. More importantly, Michelangelo's Chapel. So now all of the cities have a free cathedral, which will help keep the people happy. And which means a lot of these Colosseums I've been building to keep them happy are now kind of useless for the moment, because they're not needed. They will be needed as time wears on, of course, but, you know, details, right? Details, smeetails. Now, what are you up to, Big Wimpley? I think you're probably stealing somebody and going to that island if, if I was playing it right now. That's how I would do it. And this is based off me playing, so of course I won't do anything like that. I gotta do something incredibly dumb. Oh, 100 gold, 100 gold. Sweet. Oh, the Greeks want to talk, and yeah, I'm gonna give you gunpowder. Yeah, that's that's gonna happen. Just keep asking. We'll see how that goes. You have no troops to withdraw? Well, then I'm just gonna waste my turn over there. I would disband him, 
but it's keeping all of their crappy forces like they've I'm sure they've got better units but it's keeping a lot of their forces concentrated in the open so if a war ever starts that settler will be a nice distraction and then add on top of that that uh, I can actually attack a lot of their troops out of the open instead of in their cities so it's a win-win combination really eh, more money can't go wrong Get, find lots of money at the, the stuff with the huts and here I think I decided I'm going to leave that and colonize it later because I found that nice island up there where I can put a couple cities. And that guy's going to be sharing a spot, but no big deal. Build a road. There you go. Fan-freaking-tastic. And it bears repeating in case you're wondering, why do I often build a road before I build a city? It's so that I'll get more, um, I'll get taxes and science more taxes and science right off the start thanks to the road it's not only for the square I put it on but it'll also help the city square assuming the city square can generate trade like uh, like field and stuff whereas hills for instance all right so now what oh yes just more and more of this and no doubt you're getting sick and tired of seeing it trust me things are gonna pick up soon I have a good feeling about it and if not too bad, so sad. I just don't feel like cutting anything right now, so you can just put up with it. That's terrible to say, but you know, considering I've been able to get this many uh, episodes out of the time limits I've had, I'm pretty happy about it. Oh look, I can see more guys. Hi guys. But like, this is why you can't move over there, because they have the zones of control. Yeah, that's one thing in this game, a lot of units cannot ignore enemy zones of control. Some can, like explorers and spies and stuff like that, but uh, most of them can't. So if they try to move them and then suddenly they show you a, an enemy uh, or opposing civilization's unit or a barbarian, that means they control that zone by their mere presence, which is kind of crappy. Oh uh, yeah, I don't want to go land there. That's definitely Persian territory. We want to stay the hell away from the Persians, I assure you. Persians are mean. You don't trust them any further than you can throw them. And you can actually throw Persians around? I say do it. How often in life are you going to get a chance to do that? And the answer is, not that often. Hey, we're actually getting some of that swamp out of there. It's starting to look like a real city area now. Oh, PAVN, you are a badass. Round the wheel, building libraries. Yeah, he would like that. Freaking round the wheel. Building libraries? After we trust it. Oh, wait, no. Why does that have to do with anything? Now I'm just spouting random stupidity, and that is not what I'm about, damn it. That's not something I've, it's been a big part of my, my, my repertoire, you know? I like to just talk about what's on and what's going on. So keep that in mind. Alright, who are we going to stick here? He's going to have to share a couple. Oh, yo, sniper, I hope you like sharing, because that's what you're going to get. How about you? Probably going to build a road right down the way as I go. Oh, time for another city. Who gets it this time? It's the super weapon, RB69. Did I say RB or RBeast? Ah, hard to say. Either or. It's all good. Hmm. That's a pretty big continent they're on. I gotta tell you, I think I should have been more aggressive in jumping onto their continent and trying to force the issue. But you know I me, mean? isolationist. Although, I kind of threw that out the window when I started colonizing the Greek place, and right away they showed up. I should have just broke the, all the cities down and left, but... I was too damn uh, entrenched by that point. Navigation. Hooray. Casey Patton building a city wall. You may notice that there's a lot of city walls that are going to start going up. Shitty walls? Yes, shitty walls are going to start going up because we want to keep out the goddamn Mongolians! Actually, the Mongolians, I believe, can be in the game. Unfortunately, the game is not that kind to give me such an easy joke. So, I'm just going to shoehorn it in there real bad-like. Because that's how I roll. Actually, I'm rolling a lot this video, a lot of different ways. But oh well. Not much you can do about it, so I ain't gonna worry. Now, ah, what do we got going on? Pocket Emerald. He's actually missing out on two city squares. That's too bad. Maybe I'll fix that someday. But knowing me, I'll probably forget about it. Eventually it'll happen, but it's gonna be like way in the future. And no, we're not putting video bets on that, because that honestly may just not happen. Now, that harbor, I'm putting that in that city immediately because that city is sitting at uh, zero food gain, so it's stagnant right now. We want it to keep growing, and we've got a few sitting in the water, so let's get some more food in there and keep it growing. Because the more it grows, the better off it is later on when you start getting the really cool advancements that you need. Oh, you'll see. 
you'll see big time. But it will be several videos, and then some. But it'll happen. It will happen. And then everyone's going to be happy and go, hooray! Including that wind down part like that. Yep, that's how it's going to work. See, now I fixed it. Wow, okay. Apparently I actually did something when I thought about it. That's like, that's rare. I mean, that should be screen capped and kept forever. Because that just does not happen. Persians capture the Japanese city of Kyoto. Um, that's not good news for the Japanese. I've started to feel that maybe I should have stepped in and helped them. I still could, I guess. But, you know what? The hell with the Japanese. What have they ever given me, anyway? Honestly. What's that? That's, that's where Nintendo's come from? Really? Oh. Well, I'm just stupid then, I guess. Durr.